Good morning everybody and welcome to Ben and Plum's kitchen. Today we've got my lovely daughter Plum as usual, Hector on the camera and Donny the dog down there somewhere sweeping up the crumbs. So what are we going to do today Plum? We are making fluffy American pancakes. Yeah and the great news about this dish is it's incredibly cheap to make, it's very delicious and it's very nutritional. We're going to make it with two toppings, we're going to make it with bacon for the non-vegetarians and we're going to make it with blueberries and yogurt for everyone else. Okay Plum, so what are the ingredients? So you have two large eggs beaten, four tablespoons of melted butter, 260 ml of milk, four tablespoons of caster sugar, uh, 270 grams of Self-raising self power. Self-raising power. Yeah. Okay, thanks Plum. So how do we mix all this so together? So the first step is you add um, your self-raising flour and you sift it into a large bowl with the cast sugar. Okay, so whilst you're doing that, I'm whilst you're in the next ingredient. Wow, there's a lot of power coming out from there. Lovely, perfect. And then okay. you add the eggs to the butter. Lovely. And the milk to that and you whisk. Whisk that together. And that is your first step. So oh, once this is beaten, you pour um the egg mixture into the flour mixture. So I'm using oh we could have done that a little bit slower because it right. might get a bit lumpy, but anyway we will work that one out. Keep keep now look at this, you see it's slowly gonna thicken up, slowly gonna thicken up. Wow, no lumps in here. Now you can use a fork for this, but I would suggest if you use a fork, you probably pour in the uh, liquid a little bit slower, otherwise you're going to end up with lumps. Okay. Now the difference between a drop scone and a pancake is the batter is much thicker for a drop scone, because what you're actually doing is making much smaller pancakes of that size. Okay, so there we go. Now what I would suggest is once you made this batter, you let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay, once that is sitting, so for about 10 minutes, I'm gonna quickly show you how you make blueberry compote or Kool-Aid, depending whether you want to sound posh or not. So that's 150 grams of blueberry. I'm gonna pour most of those in there, I'll keep a few back, because it's nice to have a bit of garnish. Into that, I'm gonna put probably about two teaspoons of sugar, I should make it three, of sugar on a very low heat. I'm going to get a nice piece of lemon. I just want to have pips going in there. Actually, I can see some pips have gone in, but I'll get those out. So we've got the lemon, the blueberries, and the sugar. Now, I don't think you need any water in this, and I'll tell you why, it's because when these little babies burst, there is so much water inside them. Blueberries are fantastic. They are probably one of the best superfoods in the world, and uh, they are very nutritious, nutritional and delicious. Okay, whilst that is cooking slowly, we're gonna cook some bacon. This is a... A little bit of olive oil. You can grill this, you can fry it. I like, I like to fry it, but it's also very delicious grilled. Now, can you just zoom in on this, Hector? As you'll see now, most of the blueberries are burst, and you've got this lovely beautiful compote. Now that is without putting any water in there at all. So that is the sort of consistency. And what I actually do now is put these last few in, stir them round, and turn the heat off. Okay, so they're cooked through nicely. You've got some nice unpot ones, and you've got lots of pot ones in there. I'm just gonna let that cool down a little bit. Bacon sizzling away nicely. It's going to be turned over shortly. So Plum, are we ready to start making pancakes? Yes. Go. Okay Plum, now I'm going to demonstrate how to cook these. So you're going to pan a little bit of oil in there and immediately, not too hot because it will burn. Okay, a nice ladle. I think you want to probably about half a ladle for each drop scone. 
There you go, one, two, Okay, when you see the bubbles starting to appear on the top, that is the time to turn the drop scones. There you go. One, two, three. Beautiful. They're perfect. Perfect drop scones. Flash drop. Leave those for about another 30 seconds or so. Okay, and I think these three are now done. Let's have a little look. Oh yeah, perfect. perfect. Oh yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Wrap those up slightly plumb, I'll be putting the next three. All right, so we've got our lovely drop scones, we've got a lovely blueberry compote, and we've got a bacon, and of course, maple syrup. So I'm just gonna demonstrate, and you're good. So I'm just gonna demonstrate very quickly two different ways of plating up. So let's do this one first. There's two drop scones on the plate. Yep, put two on that for the bacon. Nice big spoon of blueberries on top like that. And then on top of that, it's a nice big healthy splodge of yogurt. Look at that, delicious. On this one, we've got the crispy bacon. Nice bit of crispy bacon on top of that one. And then on top of that, we're gonna put some maple syrup. But you know what? I'm not gonna put that on yet because I don't know who's gonna eat this and how much maple syrup they want. There we go, we've got two different ways of doing fantastic drop scones. Absolutely delicious, and I reckon about a pound or so per portion. What do you think, Plum? Yum. Looks great.